Electrical shock is a leading cause of workplace accidents and fatalities. To help reduce the risk of accidents in the workplace, it's important to follow safety protocols when working with electrical components or equipment. Shock. Stimulation of nerves and possible convulsive contraction of muscles caused by the passage of electric current through the human body. There are over 400 electrocutions and over 4,000 non-fatal injuries every year in the United States. That is more than one death each day of the week across the country. Voltage testing. Voltage testing is considered live electrical work. This is considered energized work, even if it's just verifying that the equipment is completely de-energized. You must still wear gloves at a minimum until the verification step is complete. Approach boundaries. Limited approach boundary. Three feet, six inches of exposed energized electrical circuits up to 600 volts. Only qualified employees are allowed to be within the boundary. Restricted approach boundary. One foot or nearer to energized exposed components. Only qualified authorized employees may work within this boundary, but must have a documented plan to justify the work, wear rubber insulated gloves, use only insulated tools and meters rated for the voltage. Shock PPE. Gloves are the minimum PPE. Rubber gloves should always be protected from damage with leather gloves if feasible. Only fiberglass ladders may be used. PPE inspection. All electrical PPE and tools must be inspected prior to use on every day that it is used. Rubber insulating gloves must be inspected daily prior to use, including visual inspection to determine if there is any physical damage, air testing of gloves to determine if there are any leaks, any gloves that are damaged should be immediately removed from service. General safe work practices. If you don't know which parts of the system carry current, stop and learn more before proceeding. Use the buddy system or ensure you have a line of communication with a coworker. Place barricades around your work area to prevent unwanted passerbys from entering boundaries. Ensure you have adequate illumination and don't blindly reach into equipment that you can't see or reach company rules. Always follow your company policies when it comes to live electrical work. Some companies will permit live work up to a certain voltage, while others prohibit all live work. If your company performs live work, follow your company-specific safe work procedures and always remember to use the proper tools and PPE. Thanks for taking the time to refresh your knowledge with h &A. For more information, reach out to Hellman & Associates.